So Cal, five years at the helm of Club 4x4, so you were there right at the start, but let's take it back half a step. What is it that, that lights your passion for four-wheel driving? Mate, that's, that's a really good question. So there's a couple of things for me. Um, I grew up camping with my family when I was younger, so you know, being out in the bush is something that's really natural for me, but also you know, I've always been a bit of a, bit of a gearhead, so anything with the wheels and a motor has been, has been a real core passion for me as long as I can remember. So uh, with two little kids, um, four-wheel driving and being out in the bush and camping is really a natural thing for me now, but I, I, mate, I love the freedom. I love driving, I love the freedom, I love the technical nature at times. Um, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it just fits into life really well. And do the girls love it? Mate, they love it. They absolutely love it. So, yeah, at home they're sort of confined to four walls and have to stay clean. I think they love the fact that they can go camping and it's a reason for them to be absolutely filthy top and bottom the whole time. Um, but also, you know, being out there and, and seeing the flora and fauna that we're lucky to have in this country. Yeah, no, absolutely. Mm. So Club 4 by 4s taking you right around the countryside. What are some of the favourite spots you visited? It's a really hard one, mate. I, I probably would love to have done more and do more, but I don't think that that's, that's just me. I think most four-wheel drivers are in the same boat. But um, look, for me, pretty lucky in Sydney to have a pretty fantastic backyard. So weekenders are really easy for me. So, you know, the, the mountains are just such an amazing area that you never really get sick of. But in terms of long range trips, I, I guess one that really stands out for me was this really great camp. We had one night on the way to the Big Red Bash at Cordillo Downs. Um, just a magic, magic, magic spot. Um, so yeah, it's one of those areas or, or one of those nights, the journey there, the night there and, and the rest of the journey is just one of those things that's just embedded in your brain, mate. So yeah, hard to choose though. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And I guess with five years down for Club 4x4, what are the plans for the future of the company? So yeah, Pat, look, five years down, as you know. So we've got a fantastic loyal following of customers at the moment uh, and that's been magic. So, you know, for us, it's expanding, uh, you know, that, that set, but also providing more products that are going to be valuable for the 4x4 enthusiast. Our, our mission is to be the insurer for the 4x4 enthusiast. And 4x4 insurance uh, is abs absolutely our mainstay. But I think what, you know, what we'll definitely be looking to do over the next five years is to complement that with different insurance products uh, and you know, product benefits that you know, make that even better uh, and expand that out. Mm. And I noticed in recent times, clubs really pushing a responsible four-wheel driver philosophy. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, look, I think um, we're, we're in interesting times at the moment, Pat. So with, with the whole COVID thing, um, you know, there, there's evidence that, that people are more willing to get out there and, and enjoy our own countryside with closed borders. And we're absolutely supportive of that. Um, and I think the more people who join our passion and join our hobby or buy a four-wheel drive or buy a camper and get out and see our countryside, it's obviously a tremendous benefit to Australia itself. Um, but the, it comes with a burden of responsibility, right? Things can go really, really wrong um, and it can be dangerous out there. So for us, it's absolutely about, you know, how do we encourage people to take up the hobby and be part of the passion, but do it in a responsible and safe way, you know? Um, so it's, it's as much people's safety and doing it the right way as it is keeping beautiful places like this open. And that's a real challenge for us. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, fantastic philosophy, mate, and I guess the things that you're alluding to there is keeping your campsite clean, not tearing up tracks, you know, just driving in that responsible manner, and uh, yeah, that, that's that style of, of thinking. Yeah, absolutely, mate. And look, um, it's educating too, Pat, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's a whole raft of different types of four-wheel drivers out there. At the end of the day, we all have the same passion. It's, about, it's the passion for the vehicle and the passion for where that vehicle gets us. So, you know, I think education is a large part of what the whole industry needs to be doing. And, and certainly from Club 4x4's perspective, um, it's about driving that responsibility uh, in every facet of, of, of the hobby and the passion. Couldn't agree more, mate. Well, uh, thanks for chatting with me, Cal. Thank you, mate. Thanks for the time. <laughs>